Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Cassell and Berger Statistical Inference Chapter 1 Problem 9 Solution. Right? Here it is asking you to prove the general version of De Morgan's law. Let A alpha be alpha is element of gamma be a possible uncountable collection of sets. Prove that. Uh, like first we'll try to prove this. Right? So this is union for all alpha A alpha complement is equal to intersection for all alpha a alpha complement okay right <clears throat> so uh, before we do this i hope all of you guys know this if x is an element of a this means x is definitely not an element of a complement right similarly if x is a element of a complement this gives you x is not an element of a. Okay, right? I'm gonna, I, I hope you guys know this, so I'm going to erase this. Right? Right. When we have a question like this, most of the time we would take uh, start from one side. Let's say I'm going to start from left hand side. Okay, and I'm going to say let x be an element of this whole thing union of alpha union for all alpha a alpha complement right okay so so this is a scenario like this right this is a scenario like x is a element of a complement now this whole a is whatever this thing right so we know this would give you x is not an element of a okay right in this case a means this big whole thing so this gives you x is not an element of union for all alpha a alpha okay right now if x is not an a, not an element of union of all these a alphas right that means maybe a alpha 1 uh, alpha 1 a alpha 2 like it's it's x is not an element of any of these things so that means you can definitely say x is not an element of a alpha for all for all this is symbol for for all alpha is an element of gamma okay right i hope it's clear why because it's it's not not an element of the union okay right if it is not in the union that means it's not not in not anywhere not in any of the uh, sets okay right now so if x is not an element of a alpha that means this is definitely an element of a alpha complement again this is for all alpha is element of gamma for for all okay right next now this gives you x is an element of a alpha complement right if it is an element of a alpha complement that means if it is in one a alpha if you take intersection of many things uh, that means this is an element of a alpha complement that means if you take the intersection of all the a alpha components this should be there why because x is an element of a alpha complement for all alpha okay right so this gives you this has already given us the right hand side this is the right hand side right now i'll try to start from the right hand side and prove the same thing okay right next right hand side let's say let x be uh, element of intersection of alpha a alpha complement right so what if x is in the intersection for all alpha a alpha complement that means x is definitely an element of a alpha complement okay right this is for all alpha is element of gamma next if x is an element of a alpha complement this gives you x is not an element of 
a alpha okay if x is not an element of a alpha for all alpha is element of gamma this gives you x is definitely not an element of if you take union of all those things still it won't be it, it, it still x won't be an elephant uh, if you take union for all alpha a alpha still x will not be here right because like if you for all alpha x is not an element of a alpha right so this gives you definitely x is an element of if you take union over alpha of all the if you take union of all a alpha sets if you take complement x would be there okay right so now you can see we have proven it both ways then this gives you union alpha a alpha complement is equal to intersection for all alpha a alpha complement right they, they are equal to each other got it right next next we'll look at the look at part two okay <clears throat> right again we'll start from the uh, left hand side left hand side let's say let x be an element of intersection of alpha intersection of like that means you are taking intersection over all alpha right alpha this is complete right it is not alpha it is complete i made a mistake right now <clears throat> this is complete this gives you again this is something like a if x is an element of a complement this gives you x is definitely not an element of a so this is intersection of alpha a alpha okay that means you are taking intersection for all alpha right this gives you if x is not an element of intersection of alpha a alpha then for some alpha it will not be in the it will not be an uh, it should not be an element of alpha for some why why do we earlier we said for all but now we cannot say for all why because now if x is element of intersection of a alpha to be in the intersection intersection means and right that means it should have been an element of uh, x a alpha 1 a alpha 2 and like all the for all alpha is element of gamma right if it was not an element of a single set then this statement would be true right but there might be cases where x is an element of some alpha but still it will not be in an element of the intersection right that's why we say for some alpha x is not an element of a alpha right so this gives you x is definitely uh, an element of a alpha complement for some alpha element of gamma okay right if x is an element of a alpha complement this would definitely give you x is an element of if you take union of all those things union for all alpha like a alpha complement right we get this we get the right hand side but this is right now next we'll start from the right hand side right again let's say let x be an element of union you are taking union or all alpha a alpha complement okay what this gives you is now <clears throat> you are taking union right to be in the union all these a alpha complement sets should not have x like it it, it, it is not the case right if uh, this was in like one set like if a one a, a alpha one complement this is enough for x to be in this right 
So we cannot say for all. Therefore, only thing we can say is x is an element of a alpha complement for some alpha is element of gamma. Okay, it's not for all alpha for some alpha, right? So then this gives you x is not an element of a alpha for some alpha element of gamma, right? This gives you, it, if it is not in one, then it is definitely not in the intersection of, of alpha, a alpha, right? I mean, if x is not an element of a alpha, like if you take intersection of all those things, not being in, in one set is enough, right? Because to be an element of the intersection, uh, element should be in all a alpha sets, but here it's not the case. So it is not an element of intersection a alpha, intersection alpha over o alpha, right? Then this gives you x is an element of complement of this set, right? Intersection taking over alpha, alpha complement. Okay, so now we have proven it both ways. So now you can clearly say that intersection for all alpha, a alpha complement. If you take the complement of this intersection, it is, it is equal to taking union over alpha for all or a alpha complement sets. Right. Thank you guys.